This time we're gonna play uh, Chinese chess. <laughs> All right, I found this one. It looks really nice. Uh, it's called GM Chess, and the interface is really nice. However, when you're playing with the AI, it's not that great. So let me play with the AI here. Uh, it says fight to AI. And you, I like this better than um, the Roman Chess. Okay, the Roman is okay, but not not as fun as this one. And when you play with the AI, it's not as fun because um, the AI is pretty bad at this game. So you see how it's a freebie for them to kill me, but I doubt he will. Uh, another thing about the AI in here is that it takes time to think. I mean, uh, come on now. <laughs> I'm not sure if it connects to the server. I doubt it. No, I don't think so. It's, it's all offline. Let's see here. No implementation yet. But you see there, look at that. He just lets me go. He doesn't do nothing. But uh, that's how you can do it. Uh, what I recommend this is um, if you have two player, um, you know, locally, then you can play it uh, like that. If you go here, it says free play. And then you can have two players playing this. Instead of playing the AI, the AI is pretty stupid. But if you play like this, uh, free play, you can just move, you know, it yourself, you and your buddy even play. It's much funner that way. Now don't confuse this with Korean chess, okay? I had a fucking um Korean classmate and I told him, Hey you wanna play Chinese chess? And the motherfucker says yes and uh, it's the same pieces but the Korean chess they move differently and he thought it was the same thing so his motherfucking ass was confusing me. But uh, it's Chinese chess, not Korean chess. Okay, so you still cannot move like Korean, where you can move sideways right here. You have to have, actually cross the river, and then you can move. See? So that's that for um, Chinese chess or GM chess here. Uh, check it out if um, that's what you're looking for. You know, play it locally with your friends or your family members. Dig that. So that's all.